Matt Groening, the creator of both The Simpsons and Futurama, is an incredibly well-known person in the animation industry due to how big of a role he's had so far. The Simpsons has been going on for an extremely long time and doesn't really show signs of stopping anytime soon, and it's one of the most recognizable cartoons of the modern era. Futurama was popular and didn't last as long, but it was still awesome. But finally, after many years, Matt's new cartoon coming to Netflix has officially been revealed. Its title is Disenchantment. The 10 episode first season of Disenchantment, which marks Grenning's long awaited return to television, lands on Netflix on August 17th. Broad City's Abby Jacobson will voice Bean, who, in the four promotional photos released by Grenning on Reddit and the show's official Twitter account, carries either a sword, scimitar, or a pint of beer, suggesting no ordinary princess. Speaking of the Twitter account, let's take a look at it. There's a tweet that says a princess, an elf, and a demon walk into a bar. On this tweet, there are hints of the character designs, which doesn't really show us too much. But luckily, shortly after this, we got full screen caps of the show that reveal what the characters actually look like. Okay, please tell me I'm not the only one that thinks this elf looks a little too much like Bart. Like, I can understand when you have a popular show and you're inspired by it to make similar characters, but this is literally just Bart Elf Edition. As for the princess character, she seems like an original character design, so there's not much to say about that. Although out of the three main people, I'm most excited to see the demon in action. He's just like a walking, breathing shadow, which gives off an eerie vibe, and he's probably gonna be the one getting into some really dark things. I already like you, demon guy. You get an A plus in my book. Now, you may be wondering what exactly Disenchantment is about. In Disenchantment, viewers will be whisked away to the crumbling medieval kingdom of Dreamland, where they will follow the misadventures of hard-drinking young Princess Bean, her feisty elf companion Elfo, and her personal demon Lucci, reads the official summary for Disenchantment. Along the way, the oddball trio will encounter ogres, sprites, harpies, imps, trolls, walruses, and lots of human fools. So yeah, it's a medieval adventure from the creator of The Simpsons and Futurama, and right away that sounds interesting. At the very least, this is something different from Matt's two other cartoons and I can appreciate that his three shows are all not the same exact thing. Good news everyone! That means it's bad. The human DNA in the creatures was only half homers. The other half came from someone else. Oh, so we can kill that person instead. Maybe they're evil and deserve it. Or have one of those annoying voices that gets on everybody's nerves with the adding extra noises for no reason. My even blowing. But the big question is this. Will Netflix's disenchantment be any good? To be honest, it's hard to tell right now because the details are minimal since it was very recently announced. Futurama was a really, really good cartoon, and The Simpsons has gotten so much worse, so it's possible for disenchantment to go either way. Personally, I could care less for the whole medieval type stuff, but this is such a short series and it has potential, so I'll check it out either way. I would definitely recommend watching this show when it comes out in August, mostly because Matt hasn't created a new cartoon since the start of Futurama, and it'll be pretty interesting to see what he comes up with now. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos, give a thumbs up, and comment below to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.